Welcome to Food Cook Share, where today we're making two ingredient chocolate mousse. Let's do it. Chocolate is the star of this mousse, so use the best quality that you can. I have a 62% Scharfenberger semi-sweet. If you use milk chocolate, you'll have to use 50% more, otherwise the ratio to cream will not be enough to allow the mousse to set properly. We're breaking the chocolate down into small pieces so it melts evenly. Tip into a heat proof bowl, add one third of a cup of whipping cream, and heat in a microwave for 10 second intervals until the chocolate is fully melted. We'll whisk together the chocolate and cream until they form a velvety smooth sauce, which is the key to this recipe. It does take some whisking for the chocolate and cream to come together, but they do, just be patient. When it's all combined, let it cool to room temperature. Well, I can't let that go to waste. We will need to whip the remaining two-thirds cup of cream. You can use a mixer, just make sure not to over whisk, as the final step of combining the ganache won't go well if the cream is too stiff. I do prefer the whisk, as it gives me a better feel for what stage the cream is at. We're going for soft peaks here. I said I preferred it, but I didn't say it was easy. With the whipped cream prepared, we can start incorporating... Um, we can start incorporating... Hang on, I gotta heat it again. Now that the cream and ganache are ready, we can start incorporating the two. Transfer about one third of the whipped cream into the ganache and start to incorporate it. With the ganache tempered, pour all of the ganache into the cream and whisk until the two are fully combined and there are no light or dark streaks in the entire mixture. Voila! A rich decadent chocolate mousse, but it looks a bit underwhelming. You eat with your eyes first, so let's see what we can do to make this look as good as it tastes. In a piping bag, insert a decorative tip, then fill with mousse. Alternately, you could fill a freezer bag with mousse, then cut off a corner. To pipe the mousse, point the bag's tip at the center of the bowl. Squeeze the bag while moving the tip out in a spiral. Then change directions and narrow the spiral back to the center. This design is inspired by a canal. Take two large dessert spoons and roll some mousse onto one. Scoop the mousse off with the other, offset by one third turn. Repeat until you create a rounded triangular shape. Then release onto the plate. There you have it, a treat for the eyes as well as for the palate chocolate mousse that can be made by anyone who can melt chocolate and whipped cream. But I think I'm forgetting something. I should taste this to make sure it's not poison. If you love chocolate, you're gonna love that. That's it, I'm done. <laughs>